Hey everybody, thanks for checking out this Bethany Joy makeup tutorial. Uh, first of all, before I start on the makeup, I do want to mention what nail polish I'm wearing um, because I know I'm going to get questions about it. It's by Nicole by OPI and the color is Blue Lace. So there you go. Now I've already got foundation on, I've got the eyeshadow on this eye done, and then I'm going to, um, I've already primed my eyelid with Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And so the first color we're going to use is a Toby Brown. I'm going to be using MAC Satin Taupe. It's that one right there. And my small Sonia Kashuk eyeshadow brush. Get a good amount of that into the brush. Tap it off. And then I'm just going to press this on my eyelid. I always like to start at the middle just so it has a little bit more even coverage. It's just on the lid. Don't want to get too much in the crease. And that's that. Next color I'm going to be using is by Ulta. The color is called Twinkle. Just a nice shimmery um, nude color. I'm using my MAC 217 brush. And we're going to put this in the crease. Just make sure that taupe color is nice and blended. And I'm just going to bring it all the way up here and out and just blend, 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 blend. Alright, last eyeshadow color is MAC Shroom. Just a nice uh, like champagne highlight color with a little bit of shimmer. Just using a large fluffy eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to put that right under the brow. Once again, just blend, blend, blend. Alright. Now we're going to move on to eyeliner. So you can use a liquid liner if you want to. The one that I wanted to use was Mark um, on the Edge liner in Clio, but mine was all dried up because I haven't used it for six months. Kind of embarrassing, but um, the color I've decided to use instead is Bare Minerals Liner Shadow in Onyx. Sorry, that was the lid, but it's just black, just a matte black color. And I'm just going to mix um, some water with this. I'm actually just going to spray my brush and then um, put that in put the wet brush in here. Let's see which brush do I want to use? I think I'm going to use this one. I'm actually going to use the Bare Essentials eyeliner brush as well. So let me check and make sure the eyeshadow is even and then we'll come back and do the liner. So to do the eyeliner we're just going to do a super super thin line um, just along the top and just kind of bring it out just almost straight. Not really a big wing but just you know extend it a little bit. Um, so let me get in close here and see if I can show you what I'm doing. I think I'm going to do this eye first. So I've got the brush with the eyeliner on it. You don't even have to bring it all the way in, just most of the way. As you can see, very, very thin, and I'm going to need a little bit more. Looks good. I'm just going to do that little extension. Just like that. I mean, seriously, super easy. And that's the liner. And if you want to, you can take the extra, if there's a little bit extra on the brush, if there's a lot extra, just kind of wipe it off and just add a tiny, tiny bit right in the lashes on the bottom, just about halfway in. Okay, I'll do the other side and then. I'm going to do my eyebrows and then add some mascara. I'm just using my Maybelline Full and Soft that I love. And I'll come back and show you cheeks and lips. Okay, so with the eyes finished, I'm going to move on to cheeks. Now, this the way she has the blush applied in this picture um, is very great if you have cheekbones. 
uh, that are defined, but as you can see, I don't really. So I'm going to change it up a little bit just so it won't look really weird on my skin um, or on my face shape. So I'm using this blush by Too Faced. It's a mocha blush, and it looks like this. And I'm just going to use my Posh Angled Blush Brush. And this is a little bit of, ex of an experiment because I don't really, haven't really planned out exactly how I'm, I'm, bleh, how I'm going to apply it. Um, but she basically has it kind of underneath the cheekbone like this. And as you can tell, like I said, it won't look that great on me. So I'm just going to start kind of right here. And I will do it kind of in that same area but just a little bit lighter and possibly higher. We'll see how this goes. I mean, she really has like nothing up here, so just try to keep that in mind. Well, that looks okay. We'll try that. <laughs> As you can see, I'm just being really, really gentle, just patting the color on, because I don't want it going everywhere. As long as we got that little bit on the apples, it will look like, I don't know, I think it'll look better. <laughs> okay. Now, for lips, uh, just any kind of peachy, nude, peachy pink gloss. I'm using my Buxom Lips, as you could probably imagine, in amber. And... Okay, so here's the finished Bethany Joy inspired makeup tutorial. She's always been kind of one of those people that I remember because obviously we have the same name, so I think that's kind of fun. Um, anyway, so I did look through a lot of her other pictures tons of pictures I looked through and most of her makeup was like really the same and kind of boring and I've already done tons of makeup looks like that and so I found this one and I was like oh this looks a little different and as you can tell it looks a bit different on, different on me especially because of my eye shape but I think it's pretty similar and I think it's really nice just kind of a almost a smoky look but not exactly because it's not underneath it's just kind of interesting so I like it and hopefully you liked it thanks for checking out this tutorial and keep checking back for more videos see you guys bye